everyone, welcome to the live review of the latest Zebra BI developments. The last couple of days have been crazy with final preparations and everything, but seeing you all here makes it totally worth it. I saw that we have people joining from Germany, UK, US, Denmark, even Australia and so many other countries. I just wanted to say thank you all for being here. You have no idea how much this means to us. Yesterday was a happy spreadsheet day that marked 43 years since the birth of the first spreadsheet program for personal computers. And today we are setting new milestones. It's time to finally change the way we visualize data in Excel and PowerPoint. But before we dive in, let's hear it from the one and only, the famous Mr. Excel. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Hey everyone, it's Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. Now I love Excel, but let's admit, one of the weaknesses in Excel is the whole charting situation. For the longest time, we were stuck with those same 73 charts, and then they finally give us some new charts. And what are we supposed to do with those? The tree map, the sunburst, all those colors. I am a huge fan of a new add-in called Zebra BI for Office. It adds new charting visuals to both Excel and PowerPoint. Those visuals will have consistent colors and always tell a story. The people at Zebra BI are a big fan of showing the variance. Don't just show me sales, show me sales versus plan or sales versus last year so I can understand if we're up or if we're down. And I tell you the thing that absolutely blows me away is their ability to add dynamic comments. Back when I was an analyst working in accounting, I would always produce reports, but my signature thing was to look at that report and say, okay, I have my manager's manager's attention for 30 seconds. What is the one thing that I want him to realize? And I would add a comment. So that way, at least he got something from the report. Well, with Zebra BI, you're going to have the ability to add dynamic comments. So as they drill down through the dashboard, your comments will be able to appear at the right spot. It's just an amazing tool. I can't wait for you to see it. Right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the official launch of the Zebra BI for Office. I'm Andre of Zebra BI, the founder and CEO. And of course, it's a very, very special day for me and for my team, because back in 2014, we actually started with a uh, add-in for Excel. And then we moved on to BI tools like Power BI and so on. Uh, made a great, um, made made great visuals for Power BI, and in a sense now we are going back in time, but also forward in time uh, with this day, with this moment, and we are introducing the new Zebra BI for Office. Now, before we reveal uh, the new product. Uh, let me first um, say a couple of words about the key trends today, what is happening right now, what we are hearing and seeing um, out there with our clients. Uh, first of all, hybrid workspaces, online collaboration, we are all working from home. Lots of uh, Teams meetings, uh, online collaboration, using tools like Teams, online Excel, and so on. Of course, uh, this is all changing the, the way how meetings are done. Inefficient meetings, of course, are extremely costly. Uh, so everybody is trying to be very efficient at, at meetings today. Um, another huge trend is uh, in the BI world or in the analytics world in general, uh, which is moving from descriptive analytics to prescriptive analytics. And I'll talk about that more in a minute. Um, and also then <clears throat> another trend is the integration of BI platforms and productivity tools, such as uh, in Microsoft World, Power BI integrating uh, with uh, Excel, or as Microsoft calls it, better together, Power BI and Excel better together. Um, of course, 
efficient collaboration is essential. Uh, it saves uh, time, costs, and especially for, for the collaboration to be efficient, we need to understand the data and we need to act upon the data. Everybody who is involved in discussions, uh, you know, meetings, decisions in any way today. Fact check, 55% uh, in Teams meetings, <clears throat> increasing team meetings per week. Uh, Gardner predicts that in-person business meetings will drop from 60% to 25%. Costs of poorly organized meetings uh, in 2019 was almost 400 billion US dollars. Um, and, you know, most of hiring managers stated their intention to rely more on remote work in the future. <clears throat> now, regarding the types of analytics, uh, what we are also seeing is the move from descriptive analytics, which is basically what has happened in the past, looking at charts presenting, you know, sales up to this month, you know, always looking back into, into the past and just, you know, <clears throat> learning about the numbers that we had a month ago and a year ago and so on, uh, to predictive analytics, which is, you know, including forecasts, uh, trying to understand what's going to happen until the end of the year, you know, next year and so on, which is, of course, increasingly challenging in today's changing environment. But the most important one is the prescriptive analytics, which means what should a business do <laughs> how should i act upon my data once i understand it this is also what we call actionable reporting and it's all about actionable insights instead of just monitoring the data it's about digging the insights uh and act upon uh the insights that you know the the information and the insights that, that we got Okay, now back to Excel. <laughs> Excel is still number one BI tool. Uh, I know this is a controversial statement. Of course, uh, it's not a proper BI tool. It's a productivity tool. Uh, it started as a productivity tool, a spreadsheet tool. But of course, you know, uh, Microsoft added pivot tables and all the, the, the new features. If you take a look at the new features that are being added to Excel, um, it goes slightly into this BI, BI direction. Um, uh, it's not an analytical database or anything of that sort, but like the modern B, uh, Excel is uh, also used as a BI tool vastly all around the world in many scenarios. So again, a couple of facts here. Um, 120 plus million monthly active users of Excel um 54 percent of businesses use microsoft excel today um excel is here to stay excel is not going anywhere although we have better tools better bi platforms of course that can handle lots of data and all all that that we need in in, in bi <clears throat> um the uh microsoft office is being cloud first now so microsoft as a strategy uh, will ship new features to Excel Online and pop on online first before they go uh, are deployed to uh, the desktop. So we are more, more all, all of us are moving into the cloud, uh, including the the office. Um, and uh, yeah, big investments in Power BI and, and Excel integration, productivity tools, BI tools. They are being, you know, they are merging. They are being integrated more and more. Not just in in Microsoft world. It's a global trend. All right. So all that's all great with, with Excel and everything, but there's this one problem, and. The problem is that the reports, the analysis that we see today in Excel still look like this uh, for the most part. Um, you know, we were all so focused on Power BI and, you know, governed BI dashboards and so on in professional tools. And, and we just keep, you know, we, we just keep our eyes closed <laughs> in our companies. We don't really look at what people are doing and people are still copy and pasting Excel files, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, creating those crazy big tables and, and they are being used in, in production for meetings, for monthly you know, reviews in presentations and so on and so on. And it's a messy situation that every company basically has still today and it's not being solved. All right, so 
huh, where are those actionable insights? Where is the prescriptive uh, analytics? It is missing in Excel. Okay. And if you now imagine a meeting like we have today, uh, a Teams meeting with lots of people, starts with a nice uh, opening slide, and then uh, people start to discuss their business. Of course, first they will look at the data and they will look at the, an Excel report like that or a PowerPoint presentation like that. And we are all just wasting our, our time. Basically, these people on the meetings, of course, they need actionable insights today. I mean, you can have 10 people or 20 people, and if the meeting is, is half an hour or an hour, that's two hours, maybe 20 hours of people's work. And, uh, you know, if you just waste it with... Uh, um unreadable uh, uh not legible reports and presentations analyses that are not actionable uh that people don't understand in a couple of seconds you're just wasting your time and other people's time and you're missing the opportunity for your company to win on analytics right which is much much more important so all right um we'll get to that later um what i wanted to share oh sorry <clears throat> um sorry about this um it is now time for us to introduce the zebra bi for office so first let's hear it um from the um, from the Excel guru Carlos Barbosa, go Carlos. Thing that it, the new adding is going to help me is going to reduce my time to produce something that immediately I can start analyzing. Before before analyzing the numbers, we had to build a chart, make it look good, and then al analyze the number. With the new add-in, with just one click, I can get immediately a chart that will tell me these are the values, but then their context. Are they doing good or are they doing bad? Through the add-in, it offers you a great library of options to choose from, to see values across time, or maybe to see them more on a categorical axis, as well with the small multiples that really gives you more context to see the numbers uh, as a whole, but then individually by department or by product line or by state. So I think it's just going to be speed to insight. With one click, we get the information right away. We get the context and then we can take this and we can make decision making. No more spending time building and hacking Excel to produce the same result. Wow, so uh, one click, speed, <laughs> speed to action. Uh, let's see this in action live. Uh, let me switch to Excel. And this will be my first Zebra BI uh, chart created from a simple table in Excel. So I have actual and planned data by month and the new Zebra BI uh for office consists of two visuals the zebra bi charts and zebra bi tables let's create a chart one click i'll continue with the free license i'll explain that we do have a free um free uh offering actually for excel which is the first good news but i'm getting ahead of myself uh i created a chart um <clears throat> an actionable chart that will present my uh, information. Um, let's say that this is my plan. I'll move it to the plan bucket. Uh, the notation here is IBCS uh, compliance. So this is my plan, uh, 8.1 uh, 8 million. Uh, my actual is 8.6, which is great. 5.9% uh, above the plan. I have all the variances. I have the relative variances. All that was calculated by the visual itself from the basic data. Note, I only have my actual sales and my sales plan, for example. That's it. Everything else is done by the visual and it was done in one click. Now, the um, 
charts are fully interactive, so I can break the axis just by clicking on, on, the, on the column. Uh, I can change the variance. Now I've switched the uh, display to the absolute variance. Uh, I can have both the absolute and the relative, uh, you know, growth um, and, and so on. Um, of course, I can also slide slide uh, between the different chart types. OK, so this is now the uh, column chart with the uh, integrated variance. Uh, it's actually the integrated variance chart. So uh, let me make this smaller. What you see here is just one chart with integrated variances. Again, if I click, I can display the variances in relative, uh, you know, uh, percentages or uh, both absolute relative variance or just absolute variances. If I make the chart bigger, I just I don't get just a bigger chart. I actually get an ad additional information because there's more space, right? So the Zebra BI calculated calculated the uh, relative variances here, and if I make the chart even bigger, like this. Now the variances have popped out of the chart and they are presented in a separate chart here, um, you know, <clears throat> to provide for an even more legible uh, display now that we have all the space available here. Of course, we also have area charts. Uh, this is the so-called hills and valleys chart. We have line charts and so on. All right. Um, this was a very basic... Uh, a uh, very basic set of data, right? But I hope you agree that the analysis is quite informative. It's very goal-oriented. Um, and hopefully, uh, you'll agree with me that this is quite actionable, much more than, uh, you know, normal uh, native native charts. All right, let's um, recreate this one. So this time, uh, I have a slightly more ambitious data set here. I have my actuals, previous year data, plan, forecast, and also some comments. Let's see what Zebra BI will do with this data. Insert a chart. Continue with the free license. Voila. All right. Let's start by looking at the column charts first. All right. What do we see now? Now I have the actual data. My plan is behind the actuals. Also, I have the uh, triangles for my previous year data. So, you know, it's um, um, much more interesting now. Plus, I have my forecast. So I have actual only up until the month of August. And then for the rest of the year, I have my forecast. All right. So this is this is a part of prescriptive <laughs> um, 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 analytics here. Uh, so we are including forecasts, but also we are merging qualitative, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, qualitative information to quantitative information. So we have commentary here, which is completely dynamic. So you can simply add a comment and, you know, ask somebody, uh, so what is going on? here and you will see uh the comment being displayed at the right data point and also being written here and i mean to design this it's it's straightforward experience the user experience is absolutely um uh, you know it, it makes it simple to use uh, for any business user uh and all the settings that uh people would need uh, they are right here so uh also in in the comment section you can display the absolute relative variances uh change the paddings you know you have design settings like like shadows <clears throat> and so on so you can uh, adapt the design um of course some basic things like making the title bigger or changing the title everything is directly on the visual all right um okay so now moving on to zebra bi tables um the tables visual Let's just add the tables visual. Again, a quite a simple data set. Okay, so the uh, tables visual will visualize structured data. And again, it has calculated the variances and it has sorted the data by default. So you see here, you can simply click 
to sort by the different criteria. You can simply with one click um, uh, identify the units, data categories where the uh, variance is good or variance is bad or the growth rate is, is great or the growth rate is actually declining and so on. So, so all this analysis is just one click away. And the, the, uh, uh, this visual is also interactive. So if I make it smaller, even smaller, even smaller. <laughs> I get this compact rep representation. Again, it's the uh, the integrated various chart, but this time it has a vertical axis, and you know it will fit. Uh, it will fit in on a small space. It will render even on your mobile phone because, of course, these visuals work not just in uh, uh, Excel desktop, but also Excel online and Excel mobile apps. Okay, so if you make it bigger you'll get additional charts. And if you make it really big, you'll get all the columns here. And then you can reorder the columns everywhere. Uh, you can design you can design different um, aspects of, of the visual, like borders, shading, and so on. You can change the chart types. You can have a, a pin chart. You can have a waterfall chart. You can do a overlap overlap chart so this is now the like the previous year value which is behind so that you understand this gap here that is then visualized by the variance and so on so all that in one single visual and of course it also uh, can render the um, variances okay uh, the variances and the uh, comments okay so uh, you can simply add the comments. As you can see in this example, you can have many, uh, many columns here. So you can have multiple uh, comparisons. You can have previous year actual plan and forecast, and then you know three absolute variances, three relative variances. Um, also in the Zebra BI tables visual, there's this so-called chart slider or layout slider. So so you can have a graphical representation, and then uh, in in the next view, you can have the more more of a table like display. Okay, and you just simply you know let the users know that they can click here <laughs> to to get the uh, table view. Uh, so all that in uh, the same visual, and then you'll find more settings here on the toolbar. Um, so first of all, here here you have this place to um, um, to assign the different data fields. So to assign the meaning of the, of the different data fields, uh, and then this will change the notation in, in the tables and in charts. So for example, if I do this uh, like this, or maybe with this chart, you see this is the notation for the forecast. This is notation for the actuals. Okay, so this is all um, automatically assigned uh, from the uh, mapping of, of the fields that you're using. But then, of course, you have a ton of settings to customize everything. So like show the, to, the grand total or, or, or not. And uh, sorry, um, like, of course, control all the, um, uh, the data labels, um, font size, and so on, of course, including the styles. Uh, there, there's there's a bunch of uh, default styles, but then you can also uh, switch to a custom style and then change all the columns, all the colors individually for every visual. Then you apply changes, and of course, you'll have all the changes here. Okay, so the visuals work uh, nicely. So you can do a complete PNL. Okay, with the PNL for this to work, we have integrated um, features like result rows. So you you mark if everything is get, getting stacked. You know, intermediate results. You just right click, mark it as a result, and you have it here. And then for expenses or negative, you know, KPIs, you just invert the row. So without this, everything in a waterfall chart just gets stacked. But if you right click invert this this will get subtracted and this is how you um how you basically calculate the 
the whole structure of your PNL uh, visually here on the Zebra BI visual. And then you can add formulas also on the visual. So you see, I don't have the gross margin percent in my data. What I did is actually I added the formula. So you have add, add formula, edit formula. Um, if you do this, you can actually add your own formula, calculate it, you know, save it, and it will appear on the uh, on the visual itself. Okay, um, everything works really nicely with pivot tables. Okay, so you can insert a chart from a pivot table or a table from a pivot table. Let's add the Zebra BI chart, pivot table. Okay, and now because this is a pivot table, you can use slicers. As you see on the chart, everything is changing. You can have lots of slicers and so on. Okay, or do something more ambitious like, uh, like here, or maybe let's move here. Okay, let's recreate this. Now I have a pivot table. Let's throw this out. Create a simple chart. All right, simple waterfall chart. Now back to my pivot table, and I'll add, I'll add my business unit groups into columns in a pivot table. Now I have all of my pivot, uh, all of my sorry um, business units in my pivot table. What happened in the Zebra BI visual? Well, I've got all the charts, like nine charts from all of my, representing all of my business units. Okay. And these charts, again, are completely, first of all, they are scaled. So this is a so-called small multiple. Uh, everything is completely interactive. So you can, you know, switch between the years and so on. And also the visual itself um, uh, can zoom into a specific uh, business unit, for example. And here you can navigate between them and so on. So this is quite advanced uh, display in a visual. It's not just rendering uh, static charts. It's actually full interactive visual for storytelling, for representing data, doing deep uh, visual analysis. Uh, you will find that you can render 200 charts in one visual from a pivot table and it'll be fast, like under one second. All right. Same thing with the tables. Uh, you can use pivot tables. Uh, to create hierarchical tables. So in my pivot table here, I, I'll add the Zebra BI tables visual. Okay. And what we see now is that I have an interactive hierarchical table because I have multiple levels uh, in my row structure, in my pivot table here. Uh, those uh, levels are being represented here in the Zebra BI tables visual. So uh, let me close this. I'll just collapse everything. Okay, so my business has two major divisions, electronics and personal care products, right? So this is, this is my two divisions here. And as a user, I can simply open a branch and like drill down into specific units and you can just you know you can just go down and down uh, there's actually no limitation to the number of levels that you can put uh, in your categories here and then you have handy functions like uh, right click and uh, expand in entire level or expand entire field collapse um, entire field and so on all right uh maybe the last thing here uh, regarding the product um this is very important for everybody who is using power bi today uh for reporting and you have your data stored in power bi data sets uh, that are governed secure uh, you know clean and so on of course you want everybody who's using every user in your company using those uh data sets not just you know copy pasting the data and have their own copy somewhere uh, that will become you know outdated tomorrow, right? You want them to connect live to your official data sources in your company. And if this is Power BI, then you can create a pivot table. Now with you know newer versions of Excel, everybody has this option. So you can let's try to do this live. 
So you can just go here and create a pivot table from your Power BI data set. All right. And now uh, the security is being checked for me. If I have some data sets in Power BI, of course, this is all in the cloud. Now Excel is pulling the data set, uh, secure data sets here. And do I have something I can share here? Mm, not completely sure, but let's let's try something. Okay, hopefully I have the uh, permissions. Okay, you see, I, I would need to now <laughs> um, log in and so on. Uh, let's not do this right now. I'll just skip this. And uh, once you do this, um, you will get a pivot table like this one. Okay, so this pivot table uh, was created from a Power BI data source. So uh, it looks like a regular pivot table, but in fact, it is it is a, a more advanced pivot table that will list all the measures that are in your Power BI data set and will also contain all the hierarchies, all your dim dimensions that you have in your Power BI model, which is the most, you know, the perfect situation in every company if you have Power BI uh, data sets available for people. So once the user creates uh, a pivot table like that, then the next step is to create a Zebra BI report to actually visualize this data, make sense out of it. And it was one click analysis uh, from the Power BI data. We understand, you know, that business care business unit is the biggest one. And actually it has, you know, uh, it is below the plan. All right. I should actually move this uh, field to the plan. Okay. This is Delta plan here. Of course, you can rename everything, right? So you can say Delta plan or plan variance or whatever works for you, right? So every column can be renamed and everything can be customized the colors can be changed and, and so on but the point is uh now um this uh table now is connected live to my power bi data set and uh, the uh, zebra bi is then visualizing the data set that is being pulled uh, live from the data sets i did not create a copy of my data in my Excel file, which results in lean, small uh, Excel files and much more security and one version of truth, right? Um, okay, so um, we'll talk more later on. These were the, the major features of the product, how it works uh, in, in Excel, of course. it's There are lots of details and you can do quite complex analysis and we will share some templates and use cases later on uh, that will help you get started in, in real life. Back to my presentation. All right. Um, so I think I actually forgot something. Um, there was one more thing. Um, there was one more thing I forgot. And unfortunately, I don't have the slide for it. So let me bring this back. Um, I need to, I just need to add another slide here. Okay. Which is, yeah, one more thing I forgot. <laughs> Zero VI now works in PowerPoint too. But I forgot to create all my slides here. So, Let's do it right now. <laughs> I'll insert Zebra BI charts for PowerPoint. Same thing as you do, uh, same experience as in Excel. Let's go for Zebra BI charts. Continue with free license. What I get here is the so-called chart chooser, right? So first of all, I just decide which chart I want to create. Let's go for a nice waterfall chart. All right. So what I did, I actually created a chart. Here's some demo data. And you can then, of course, change, uh, change the data. Close it. Same thing happens in PowerPoint. It's actually the same, um, uh, the same visual running in, in PowerPoint with all the same features. You can cut the axis or not. You can, you know, change the display with one click. It's fully responsive. So you can make a small chart 
uh, an interactive one and so on. You can add comments. Uh, you can add comments just by, by you know, typing. Let's paste this comment here. All right, it's here. And the chart slider, of course, so that you can flip between the charts. And now um, this works. Uh, um, this works for the Zebra BI charts visual, and also you will find the Zebra BI tables visual. So you can also create beautiful tables with many variances, PL statements, income statements directly inside uh, PowerPoint. And voila, now I have my slides that I forgot to create. I just did it now in a minute. And now I can share this with everyone. And even while I'm sharing this, I can do things like cut the axis or not. I can change the slides. I can add, I can have a conversation. I can have a meeting, discuss something with my colleague. And then, you know, ask him, well, what about this one here in May? And then he tells me what's going on. And I can, I can do this in the view mode. Uh, just add uh, a new comment for May. Like that. Close it. And it's here it's being added online in the edit mode i didn't even have to press escape button to go back and, and and so on so it's a really nice experience and now we could just simply add 10 slides uh with beautiful uh charts quite actionable charts in power point which is of course uh a great tool for for visual storytelling for having collaborative meetings um and and so on so all this technology is now being uh, available in across office. All right, um, this concludes my my live demo, and now we have a special guest. I'm very happy um, that I can introduce Mario from Lipher uh, to hear the user's voice. Um, uh, some of you may know Mario already. He has uh, uh, appeared as a guest. Uh, as our guest before, and uh, Liebherr is known as a company who is very advanced in BI. Um, they have quite an advanced system, um, advanced tools and, and everything. So I'm really happy that I'm discussing with Mario. Uh, Mario Müllechner, uh, hello. Hi, Andre. Hope that uh, you're well, and I'm glad to give you some, some break. Because I think you you put some some effort into this, and it's quite astonishing to see it in a live demo so smoothly. So congrats from my side. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Mario. Um, yeah. Um, thank you so much. It's it's great to um, to hear you live. Um, um, your connection is not completely perfect, I think, but uh, we can hear you. So. Would you share with us, I mean, uh, now we are, today we are showing, you know, uh, a product for Office. I mean, how does this fit? <laughs> how do you see uh, this fit in a BI infrastructure? We all know that you have uh, a, um, a, um, a deep um, implementation of, of Power BI, uh, good mm -hmm. user adoption and, and so on. So you have lots of people who are onboarded, uh, you know, to a proper BI platform. So. What about the office world and how do you see this fit into the BI stack? Okay. Yeah, great, great question. So I hope that uh, the audio is working. So in my, in my opinion, it is very crucial to, to combine these both areas. So I think that uh, a vast and deep implementation of the IPCS standard won't be possible with Power BI only. And when you look at um, excellent Power BI, for example, so Power, Power BI provides the big tool set where there is every tool you need in a data analytics life. But on the other hand, Excel does one thing and that's perfectly provide flexibility and speed to the, to the controller or to the business. And therefore, I think uh, now with Excel and also Power BI, to lift up the whole IBCS standard to not only an analytical, let's say, uh, visualization, but also to a presentation. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, basically you're saying, um, are you talking about digital transformation now? Of course, uh, I mean, it's, it kind of seems like that, right? So, so we tend to forget uh, once, we, once we move to a BI platform, like Power BI, but it can be anything else. It can be ClickView, it can be Tableau and so on. We forget that everybody still has Excel on their computers and Power BI, and they're using it. I mean, not everybody is using it, but most of the people are using it on a daily basis or, or, or at least monthly basis, right? And they are just yeah. copying their copying their 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 files, and they are they are doing what they are doing what they know best. I mean, they are using some charts that that they think they, they work, and you know, they're using the tools according to their knowledge, and it's kind of a we tend not to you know we <laughs> we are scared to look there, right? But those are real life reports that are being used. I mean, they are in production, right? Uh, exactly. So, and I just want to, to point out something that, I, that popped into my mind um, just before I, I went on the screen. What if a manager himself is creating this visualization with Excel with one click? So this is, I know in, in our management that there are some managers that are doing some Excel data crunching themselves. So if you could provide and show this, then I think it pops up in their mind and they see the whole picture more clearly because of what I also see is the argument that I uh, have on a management level, especially about the discussion table, table and non-table. And they say, okay, I'm used to the tables. And that's exactly right. Uh, you, without the IBCS standard, I think you cannot make uh, the consumer of your reports and your analysis get used to some visualizations. And this is key. And I think you have a perfect, perfect match here and you fit the niche perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is this is the self-service aspect, I would I would say, right? So I mean, not everybody uh, can create reports in uh, in tools like like Power BI that are, I mean, of course, it's the tendency and it's a great wish. Uh, to have the self-service BI, but the reality is just yeah. not not completely yeah. there yet. I mean, um, and it's of course it's much much easier for for the people to uh, create reports in in Excel and PowerPoint, or at least create prototypes of those reports in those tools, and then then somebody else takes this and uh, you know moves them over to a governed BI platform exactly. like 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 That's PowerPoint. Target, yeah. 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 So that, yeah, that's the yeah. target. It, it will be the gold standard in big companies to have big uh, data sets and big enterprise solutions. But uh, if you imagine how fast you can uh, you, you can make an intern to create IBCS presentations reports with Excel, so you can literally hook them up on one day. If you do this in Power BI, they have to know Power Query, data modeling, and also Power BI itself. So that's very high end and sophisticated and the target. But in order to have a quick change, a quick conversation, a quick uh, presentation, then try to shift this usage and try to um, raise the, the consumption and then also the usage on the Power BI uh, models, this will be a big multiplicator in, in, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, that's that's very true. I mean, the uh, learning curve uh, in BI tools can be very, very high. Um, it is like that in, in Power BI uh, as well, especially in the beginning when you need to learn DAX, you need to learn Power Query, which is another language, the M language, and, and so on. And of course, uh, this requires uh, uh, special special expertise and, and and so on it's it's not for every everyone right but everybody can create a good report in in uh, excel and a good presentation in in uh, powerpoint and of course they can also create bad a bad report in a bad presentation in 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 powerpoint so we hope that you know with uh, for starting from today um there will be more good than bad presentations yeah, out there out there in the world and then also, that they will be understandable and actionable as as they are uh, with Zebra BI in in Power in Power BI, right? So so you know to to match this and and to make sure that um, everybody in a company actually produces analysis, visual analysis, um, uh, reports, presentations, 
um, um, and, and so on in a unified language, which is the IBCS and yeah. which is the language behind behind uh, the, the Zebra BI product. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, and that this will lead to more actionable uh, to better understanding of, of the business. Uh, including, of course, in, in your company, and uh, and with that also to better decisions, and then hopefully also uh, better better business in the future, which is something that every BI tool is actually uh, it's the goal of every every yeah. tool to to enable that basically. Yeah, and, and now you can say to to especially controllers, you want to onboard with Power BI and stuff. Look, uh, Excel can do the same as Power BI. And after a while, you can say to them, look, uh, Power BI can do the same uh, like Excel. And then you maybe increase this, this development of this controller 2.0, I would say, because that's uh, a big leverage for the daily life. And they can scale up their knowledge and their power more efficiently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So true. So true. Uh, Mario. Thank you so much uh, for joining us today on this very special, very special moment. Um, uh, I would like to, uh, I would like to thank you. Uh, and Mario will also stay in the after party in this, in this, in a separate session uh, once we are done with the main event. Uh, so thank you, Mario, also for staying with us. See you quite soon in the uh, in the after party uh, after party session. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks. Take care. Thanks. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, I wanted just to um, show a couple of practical um, practical use cases and also the templates because we did promise that we will deliver, we will ship twenty um, templates together with the product. Uh, in Excel, and uh, we have kept our promise. And I will just, you know, show you a couple of examples here, just to, to give you some ideas what types of of analysis and reports you can do now with the Zebra BI for Office. Um, all right, um, this is the most, I would say, classic example. It's a PNL. It's an income statement here. Um, we have previous year actual and plan. And as you can see here, this is actually uh, a simple template where everything uh, is prepared already. And as you see here, this is just one <laughs> Zebra BI uh, add-in, one Zebra BI visual. It's the Zebra BI tables visual. It's placed here so it has all the information. So the whole PNL structure is here for previous year actual and plan. This is this part of your data. And then all the uh, variances are calculated, absolute variances, relative variances. And there are some comments inside. As you can see, uh, this is the full calculation of an income statement. And you can simply um, you know, uh, type your own data or link your own data here. Uh, to the to the data table and the report is already done. Oh, I shouldn't have sorted this. Uh, also, you will see that the the formulas have been added. So you have the gross margin percentage, operating margin, and so on. Everything is also pre already prepared in this visual. So this is the most standard, uh, also IBCS compliant template. Uh, we're shipping this uh, today. Um, then. Bridge charts, bridge charts, bridge charts are so popular, of course, um, everywhere, especially in PowerPoint. People are using many tools for that uh, because the native native waterfall charts are very, very limited. Uh, so now you have complete, I mean, completely flexible waterfall charts um, uh, as maybe this example here. So. Uh, as you see here, we have uh, some EBITs. Uh, this is the EBIT from previous year. Uh, one thing here in a waterfall chart like that, this is the Zebra BI charts um, visual. You can right click on the name of the category, like this one. Just right click, and now you can choose the scenario pattern. Like if this is the previous year, you can um, choose this one. If this was plan, um, if this was plan, you would do it like this, right? Or if this was a forecast, you see, you can simply do it, do it here. You can also highlight it with a color, so you can, you know, 
color any column with any color basically all right so this was previous year i'll just choose this one um next thing is you can control for each element here whether it's it's a floating element or a, a fixed element right basically is it a result like the end ebit or something else so if it's not a result it's just yet another floating element in the chart right but you can uh make it um mark it as a result and now it's a fixed color right so this is now completely flexible you can do this on any element which means that this is basically now a waterfall chart or a, or a bridge chart uh with any number of subtotals um in um, um subtotals right and what the chart will automatically do is it will calculate the growth rates here let me click here so you see 15.7 percent from the previous result okay so this is a completely automatic uh element that was added to the chart uh by default okay um all right so uh this is uh this is another example then uh what else cash flow would be also on you know similar similar template so you can may you may have uh cash from uh cash from operations like that and then cash from investments cash from financing and then you have all the structure of your cash flows and then you have uh beginning of the period um uh, cash at the beginning of the period net net cash flow and then cash at the end of the period so this is uh, also maybe a uh, useful um template that you can use uh for cash flow statements all right and then you can compare this uh to previous year plan add some comments uh, and it's a nice nice template hopefully um this will be interesting and useful um we have also prepared you know typical like monthly charts um so this is now a monthly comparison let's say for sales or you could also use it for costs or you know quantities or anything you know any basically any measure any kpi uh where you're observing a monthly trend um so this time it's compared versus plan with all the variances and now here you can um switch between the year to date and month to date values so it's basically just one zebra bi chart visual a really nice one and simple data and a couple of additional tricks uh included here in the template excel tricks included here uh for you to have some more interactivity when presenting those um charts and the second one would be maybe a bridge chart again which is more focused on like goal you know uh, performance are we have we achieved the goal or not and you know why and so on so this this one is more i would say goal oriented but it's basically the exact same data set tracking monthly values um and comparing them to plan and forecast and uh, so on so we will ship uh we will send you uh 20 of those templates um uh, you, you'll find you know cost cost reports pnls cash flow balance sheets bridge lots of bridge charts um and so on so for example let me share another bridge chart a very simple one but it's uh quite a classic um price volume uh, new discount discontinued products and so on so you have um a, a price uh, a, a breakdown of of the variances uh explaining you know why an increase or a decrease um occurred um uh, and you have the breakdown by you know the price effect volume effect uh mix and then new and discontinued products uh, um, uh, on top of that all right so all these um uh templates are coming your way right after launch uh you'll get them um, uh, to your shipped to your mailbox okay now to wrap our uh sorry <clears throat> To wrap this up um i would just like to say that 
with the Zebra BI for Office, we are completing completing the our vision uh, to offer Zebra BI on the most you know frequent um, platforms uh, out there, which is Power BI and Office, Power BI Excel and PowerPoint. Uh, now you have the seamless cross-platform experience. Um, your users can use Zebra BI anywhere, either only in PowerPoint or only in <laughs> Excel or only in um, Power BI or just in Office, Excel plus PowerPoint or everywhere, like Mario said, uh, that, you know, everybody in your company actually produces actionable reports. Um, so the product will look and feel exactly the same in Power BI, in Excel, and in PowerPoint, right? It's the same user experience, which makes it extremely easy for the users uh, to use it. There's no additional learning curve. If, if you know Zebra BI in Excel, you'll move on to Power BI quite easily, or vice versa. If you know it from Power BI, you will be able to use it in Excel today without additional learning. Uh, exact same user experience. Um, we will deliver updates, of course, to all the products um, every month and for all the platforms, right? Because if we add another feature, another chart or something like that, it'll get shipped out to all the platforms at once. And uh, of course, our support support materials, our you know knowledge bases, videos, um, and more stuff is coming. Uh, will be reusable, and you will just have all the support for all the platforms from one one place. So Zebra BI plus Power BI plus Excel plus PowerPoint. Hopefully, it will give you it will give you more acceleration uh, from today on. Uh, actionable reporting for everyone. Uh, much more flexibility now with the addition of Office and Excel. Um, also, hopefully, it will help onboard your Excel users to modern Excel, um, you know, uh, with the pivot tables and so on. Um, and uh, then with the collaboration between Power BI and Excel, you can reuse your Power BI data models in Microsoft Office. With this, uh, I think it's a great combination. And finally, in PowerPoint, uh, just simply better visuals in PowerPoint. Finally, you know, modern um, modern visuals that work also in cloud, not just in in uh, uh, in the desktop version um, that are IBCS compliant by default uh, and have much more functionality. Like you know, uh, as you have seen, the commentary, dynamic commentary, so creating small multiples, flexible tables bridge charts, very flexible bridge charts and, and, and everything that you need in a um, modern today's BI environment where the data is exploding and people are creating so much presentations and meeting, <laughs> meeting every day practically. So, uh, I was Andre. This was Zero BI. We built products people love. Hopefully, you will love this one as well. Uh, thank you for so much for attending the launch, and I can't wait to get your feedback. Thank you. Okay, um, Andre, we'll have to stop you here. Uh, thank you so much. This has been great. Uh, based on the comments, it looks like everyone is super excited to try these visuals in practice. Uh, by the way, they are already available in the, uh, in the app source. You will get all the links uh, very soon. And now I would like to invite all of you to join us in the after party session where all of the guests will be waiting. You'll be able to talk to Andre, talk to Mario, Bill, Jaren, and our BI team lead, Tine, about all things Excel, ask them questions, and just have some more fun. So you simply click on the sessions in the left sidebar to join and we'll see you there. Thank you.